The new era of vaccines is based on messenger RNA. The first vaccines on the market for SARS-CoV-2 are RNA vaccines. In contrast to conventional vaccines, they do not contain the weakened or inactivated form of the pathogen, neither subunits of it. Instead, the genetic blueprint is injected and the antigen is produced within the body's own cells. Genetic information is encoded in the DNA which is located in the nucleus. Specific parts of the DNA, the genes, are transcribed into an RNA molecule. When processed and modified, this is called the messenger RNA or mRNA. mRNA can escape the nucleus and in the cytosol this RNA molecule is translated into protein. RNA vaccines contain messenger RNA. This mRNA molecule is designed to encode for the surface protein of the virus, the antigen. To ensure the stability of the RNA and also to facilitate the uptake into human cells, it is packed into lipid nanoparticles. This is the case for both the Moderna and also the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. The vaccine is injected into the upper arm and the encapsulated mRNA has to enter our cells. The uptake is not entirely understood yet, but likely endocytosis is involved. The mRNA is successfully released into the cytosol. The cell's own protein synthesis machinery is exploited and ribosomes will translate the RNA into protein specifically into the viral surface protein. Numerous mechanisms happen to display parts of the antigen on the cell surface and to secrete native protein into the extracellular space. Cells of the immune system will answer with an immune response and train the body for this pathogen. In case of a real infection, the immune system recognizes the virus and quickly mounts a strong response. The virus is neutralized and prevented from entering host cells or even entirely inactivated. When you want to learn the biological and chemical background of the new antigen rapid tests, check out this video.